<laughs> so I just wanted to start by, by saying um, how, how nice it was. Well, the Hull Respect Festival was good. Yes. And do you, you actually live nearby, is that right? I live, I live up on Poleslow Road, yeah, and I was on my way home from work. I work in Exeter Library. Um, and I thought I'd pop in um, and I found myself in the um, small tent um, and I managed to catch the last band which were called oh, we can't, look them up later we're going to look them up later yeah. on yeah yeah now this is this is great look I, I think for some reason I, this this the mic that I'm on is not that good but the, you're, you're coming through fine so okay if you talk if you do most of the most of the most of the talking yes that's going to help us all right then what I'd like, if you would explain what what the, what that park is like most of the time, Belmont Park, because we found it quite hard to get around, and that's because we didn't understand the layout of the of like the play areas and things. Yeah, I think I mean there there is a, an entrance up from Roberts Road where, and it's downhill, um, and on the left there is the um, scrap store hut and place where magic carpet work from and then there's the toy library um, and you can come down that hill and there's an entrance into the park which takes you down another st quite a steep hill and I think that's where they had part of the respect festival with all the children's activities right um, and um, kind of some a lot of the food stalls and then there's the swing park area for older children and then there's the other bit for where the young children can come and within that part is the the community hut, um, which I don't think is open on the Respect Festival session. No, not that part. Of okay, it. Um, and then there's gates that you can go out of into the main park area that's got the big wall that gets painted, repainted every year, and the wonderful plane trees that are there. Um, and it's during the week. Uh, it's there's you've got the children coming in there after school, playing. Um, you've got the young families. You've got people walking their dogs there every day. Um, and it, you know, it's a great community hub. It's like the village green, really. Right, and and so would you? I know you can, you can only stay till about quarter past. So, yeah. So would you explain before you get to the, the the exhibition that's on? Yes. Would you would you explain the activities that go on in the hut and how you got involved in that? Um. There. Well, I think there's a woodcraft folk that goes on one one day. I go in on a Tuesday evening for the singing. It's part of Newtown Community Choir, and we meet at 7.15. Um, there's a, lo a lovely lady called Emma, who's the mu music director, and she teaches us a whole load of songs. She's, and we've got sopranos and altos and the basses and the tenors, you know, and, and we learn new songs, and occasionally we'll go and do different performances at, at various events. Um, and I think there's a Qigong group that goes on and I know that Magic Carpet recently and I saw this on Jonathan's um, Twitter page that they have a um, an arts group going on, on I think it's uh, maybe on a Monday night at the moment you know uh, welcome to anybody who lives in Newtown area Who's jo can I ask who Jonathan is? Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan, you, I'm looking you, at you. I went. I, all right, I went and looked at your Twitter page this morning, just so you know. Right. So I knew I was coming in to see. Okay. I was advised to do that by the man I live with. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. But well, yeah, all the social media bits. So, so, so. It's a bit of a minefield, isn't it? Well, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, jo Jonathan Mayhew is on is on Twitter as Jonathan Mayhew. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, are, the show is we not know w e n o t n o yeah and what does that mean well, it, well it's well, the name of the it's the name of the show um what we re what we represent really we don't know we well w when it started john told me it was going to be an r&b show yes and i can remember what r&b was 30 years ago 40 years ago okay. i knew that i knew what it was then but what it is now I don't know, and he, John, I think John thinks most 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 of the what's in the chart is R and B, essentially R and B. Well, I think it is. You think it is, yeah. 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 So it's not the Rolling Stones jamming out their stuff then. That was R and B. Yeah. That they are still doing what we thought was R and B, but what R and B is now we don't we don't know. No. But it doesn't Fair matter. No. no. I was well, a bit I was a bit worried that you were playing a reggae tune called Karma when I walked in, but well, there we are. We were. We were. Yeah. So explain. What you got out of the the art part of it? The art part of what you found in in the community hut. 
I'm just repeating, Silla, what, what I understood from what... You, what we, we only spoke briefly. Yes, OK. No, I'd, for my, my... As part of the exhibition that I'm doing, I, yes. did, I didn't... Go, wasn't at the community hut. Oh. I was here at the Phoenix Centre. Oh, OK. Um, and I had um, an episode of severe depression in my 50s um, and um, I was in a real state of grief and loss and... Um, my my life fell apart basically right. and as a result of that um, I actually reached out to people and said I'm not coping and I got myself a community support worker and from there I was um, told about MIND and I used to go down to the cafe um, near the picture house um, and there I picked up a poster about an art class that was happening here in the art centre that sounded really interesting um, and it was it was about looking at 20th century art through collage I got really excited and I signed up and I from there have been on a wonderful adventure it's been part of my recovery from depression to explore parts of my inner world and express events that have happened when I was younger around psychosis um, and I put them in pictures I put it in picture form because I couldn't talk about it um, and that's what the exhibition is is but it's beyond that the the art um, class was put on by mind and magic carpet who's a local charity like I said who do arts workshops for all sorts of people within the city and um, it's it's my way of saying thank you to them it's a fundraiser It's going on all week um, it's starting on Monday the 15th of June and goes on till Friday the 19th of June at the Glorious Art House which is down in 4th Street and it's a fundraiser um, so it would be wonderful if people could come and have a look at the paintings but you know um, also understand a little bit more about mental health difficulties that so many people experience in their lives. So how do you think it worked then? What, what, what sort of expression were you, were you able to do? Well, um, I've got a little piece here which says, Why collage? Um, it's a source of joy. Each picture emerges, no set plan. It grows up and out. I accept uncertainty and randomness. It's about connection, joining up, linking ideas, images and inspirations. I trust my senses and my still quiet voice. It's an exciting process. It's like unearthing a treasure out of a single thought. It's like pulling back time and space and remoulding it into a new form, playing with fragments without fear, without judgment or perfectionist thinking. I experience my creative energy and use my creative talents. It is about my person side and my soul side becoming one. I feel what is right with me. A deep sense of comfort fills me and I know that all is well and that statement knowing that all is well has been a major part of my recovery journey and why collage because I evolve free flow into my unknown healing journey right <laughs> that's 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 great thank you so it Say a bit more about about the about the about the show. Is I mean, is the is is the information there if people want to get involved in similar yep. projects? Yeah, there there will be um, information about Magic Carpet becoming a volunteer on um, some of their projects that they run, um, and we're going to have some uh, tubs on the, on tables downstairs in the cafe area, um, and upstairs on the exclusive preview event, which is on the Sunday. Um, for people to pay, make donations to the organisation. Right, so that's this coming weekend. The, is that yeah, right? that's on the Sunday is is the preview. But also through the week, if people come in and have a cup of tea and a piece of cake in the cafe, um, there'll be a, a collecting box on the counter. Right, and the and the, the the gallery part is right at the top. The gallery is up the top. Yeah. And it's a bit like a giant doll's house. It's really, it's lovely. I did get, have a bit of a concern because there's no um, wheelchair access. And I thought, oh, blimey, you know, here I'm doing this, this project for people who, who are wheelchair users and they won't be able to get up the top. But hey-ho. Well, 
I mean, presumably this, the, the, the same work could be exhibited somewhere else at some other occasion. Possibly, yeah, or some or something similar, yeah. I d it took me a long time f um, to organise this event. It's happened a year later than um, I thought it was going to. Um, and I was waiting for the venue, waiting, seeing what turned up, and this one did turn up in the end. And they've, the Glorious Art House have offered the space for free for the week because they know Magic Carpet. Right, well, that's, that's really good. Yeah. I mean, just to just to explain where it is, it's sort of opposite the Tucker's Hall, isn't it? It's like yes. the opposite side of the street. To, On the opposite to that. side, yeah, yeah. Past Evolution Shop and yeah. Right, yeah. Well, we we might talk. I know you can't stay very long, but we'll, we'll, John and I may talk about wheelchair access in Fourth Street. Yeah. Uh, oh. Late, later on. That's a that's an issue, is it? Well, yeah. There's so. I mean, there's several issues. But it's all very well getting down there. It's getting back again. Isn't it? From yeah. a wheelchair <laughs> point of view. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's hard work. It's hard work. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we, we won't we won't delay you with that. <laughs> we'll. Um, I'm just flexing my muscles. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, but anyway, I thought it would be good if if it could if if it could happen again somewhere else that was 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 better for wheelchair access. Thank you. Yeah, would, I realise that th now. Thing to yeah to happen in the in the past i put on an exhibition called art for all in exeter um and it was for disabled people people who went to gateway clubs and all all over um kind of outside bristol and mencap and um it was in i think it was called queen's hall up the top of park street and again it was it was a, an awareness thing you know um giving people their voice uh <clears throat> and I think there was there was an issue of wheelchair access then, but you no know, times have changed and people have become much more aware of that now. And it's it's you know part part of law now to have access, isn't it, in in every building really? Well, yeah, yeah. But it's not always. It's not possible. always the case. It hasn't happened. Yeah. I mean, the, ha the it's the, a huge thing to implement, even getting people on on and off the buses. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah but we'll get. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. We'll get we'll get to that. We'll come we'll come back to that okay. la la later on. I mean certainly, but uh, j just to mention, we found um, the Respect Festival was was very crowded. I and see the, what and you see. The stores yes. were very close together. Yes. So using the paths around the edges of it, it was yeah, very very difficult. It was there. difficult. Yeah. Mm. You wouldn't necessarily find a way back into the central bit. No, I found it very frustrating. Yeah. yeah. So the the, uh, the organisers need to reconsider that for next year, don't they? Yeah. Some somebody I was talking to earlier said they felt like because there's no sort of alcohol available at the festival, mm. um, that they could have crammed in lots of different tents and activities. So there was lots of energy stuff for people to get involved in. But well, the, the, well there was a lot going on. There was I mean, a lot I going on. I, I don't know what they can do because there's a lot of people interested in it, and therefore the, there's a lot of pressure on on the space. Yes, but. It, it, there weren't. The, there weren't. I don't know what. I don't. I don't know what they can do, and also what they can do about having all the fences and pathways and gates that they normally have for the play area. Right. Because that. Because that they they were not accessible either. Well, it didn't make it easy to no, to, to find a, a route to one anywhere. main entrance. But so um, you've got a bit of a bugbear about it then. But anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> I don't know how long you can stay. Right. I'm going to um, look at the clock. Yeah. It, so, what what I'd ask though, when you talk about collage yes do you just take elements from anywhere i and do put them together i do i and take what, what sort of rights are claimed by somebody else who's started out with it well that's a good point i use birthday cards i use shopping bags i use bits and bobs that i find on the street um for some reason i seem to get this thing for being able to collect um, fake flowers so they end up in my pictures you know um, um, I don't know about the rights I, just, I chop them up and change them about and so it all looks a bit different I only use a snippet <laughs> so I right. think you know um, but it's it's um, it's a I wonderful process Matisse called collage um, painting with scissors yes I call it cutting and gluing right but I love it, you know, it, it's just time where I can can switch off. A picture may take months to produce and I'm fiddling about and moving bits here and there. Sometimes it may take half an hour and there it is and I, have, I don't think about it. I just let it evolve in its own time and it's, it's really exciting. Just 
just to see if you've got an answer to this question, which I've asked various people, because I, I don't really understand unique bits of art in a gallery, really, if, if it could be photographed and put online. I know it's not quite as good, but I don't... We, yeah. Well, this is just a general thing. Matisse, obviously the ones that he did, the ones he stuck together... His cutouts, his yeah. His cutouts... Yes. ..are the better, are the better ones. I appreciate that. Yeah. But couldn't it be sold off as a kit if you just had a, 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 a plastic bag with lots of bits of crepe paper in it? Well, yeah, that's you how... Could yeah. do, do your own? Of course, yeah. That and ch yeah. children d are doing that all the time. I work for um, Exeter Community Initiative, which is a local charity, you know, and, and children can come into the playroom and there's all sorts of tissue paper and sequins and glue and, and they're away making whatever they like. And that's so, what it is. It's for the fun of it. Right. So they could do their own snail, given enough crepe paper now the, and a... a they could. And the, and the snail is a, is a wonderful um, representation. It's a symbol of your, spirit, your spiritual world because you, you have your the unconscious right at the middle um, and you walk that spiral shape and you, you come out um, and things are known. And one of my... A couple of the pictures in the exhibition are actually of a spiral um, and it talks about in the center is this holy place and we come through from sadness to health to pain and joy and finally we reach a place where we feel peaceful and we've confronted things that we found difficult in life and that's what one of the, a couple of the pictures are about for me con confronting my pain um, People who have got depression are encouraged these days to look at something called mindfulness. Yes. Um, and there's a guy called John Kabat-Zinn um, who's been researching mindfulness for about 30 years to help people with depression and anxiety. And he has a wonderful statement which says, embrace pain and darkness as well as joy and light. And for me, that says it all. You know, a part of my recovery, I had to embrace my pain. I had to embrace my shame. Um, shame for me um, is about my self-hurting, anxious, miserable energy. And from that space, I was able to experience hope. And, and the hope for me is happy, optimistic, positive energy. And the two go together. I've learnt that they, they sit in the same basket. Happiness and unhappiness are twins. Um, that's a saying from Nietzsche, and it's and it's it's true. And you, we can't get away from that. It's part of of being alive. But the one thing that I have learnt, and particularly through doing this collage car class with Magic Carpet, and it's a, a saying from one of my favourite artists, and I know I'm going to forget his name, David Hockney. There we are. Right. Is um that life is a marvellous gift and I'm alive to be able to share a bit of my experience and my, my creative energy. Which is great. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. I, ju just before you go, because I know, I know you've got to be at the Ram by half past. It's, yes. not, it's not far away. It's not far away. It's a hop, skip and a jump. And in fact, I might get there hop, skipping and jumping. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> but I think... Uh, we, we said we'd let you go by about 20 past, so can I just ask um, it, online contacts? Online. So if people want, just want to know a li little bit more about this event yes. and they're just thinking about it, is, is the places they could go online there is, and find out about it? Yeah, Facebook forward slash Exeter Y Art and it's W-H-Y Art um, and then there's um, a Twitter page I think which which is at Harford H A R F O R D Z. I think that's it. I've only just got my Twitter page this week. Well, listen, we we we'll, if you can remember, we not know W E N O T N O. Yes, we, ha we haven't uploaded it yet because we've had a busy show. But we we'll, right. If you would follow us, I can, we will follow. You I can R T it. Yes, <laughs> that's the way. Okay. That's the way. We have 38 followers now. Yay! <laughs> that's, that's a fabulous Which, number. I love that it number. Is, it is a very good number. And um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do to get, get more people re retweeting that.
But in other words, if people find you on Twitter, you're going to have information about about the show. About about the show. Um, well, no, I think it's on the Facebook page, really, oh, right, okay. Exe- which is Exeter Y Art. It's okay. happening in Exeter, and okay. I'm I'm looking at Y Art because it's it's a, it's a, a wonderful way to spend time and have a bit of fun it's a bit like dancing you did see me at respect festival we did dancing away uh, and, we, and we'll, we will find out the name of the group yes later on yeah yes yeah no it, it all it all work it all worked brilliantly I, th- I think yes yeah so so look thanks 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 very much for coming in well thank you for inviting me jonathan i appreciate it um, no i'm really grateful it's, it's, yeah i mean it's a shame you couldn't stay longer really ah uh, um. i've got a, i've got a pen and pencil to get out and do a bit of scribbling now <laughs> <laughs> right okay well look you've you've requested um a song which we have we have found through the wonders of youtube me and it's uh nina simone feeling good Birds we'll... flying high.